Maybe I should start the podcast. <sighs> yeah, Mo, why don't you take it from the top? Let's Just do the whole thing by yourself. <laughs> Let's see if I remember it. Okay. I don't Hit think it. I do. <clears throat> Welcome to No Bummers. It's a show where we talk about whatever we want. And the only rule is No, no bummers. bummers. Each week, <laughs> we share our hyperfixations <laughs> and we <laughs> each prepare a topic. I remember when this was all farmland. <laughs> I can't. I don't remember. We each share a topic that, that, nobody else knows that about. the other hosts don't know about. <clears throat> Cade, what's I'm, your... I'm Cade. Yeah, yeah. He's Cade. <laughs> I'm Jackie. And I'm Morgan. And I don't want to I don't want to do this again. <laughs> I'm obnoxious. <laughs> I'm H2O intolerant. Um <clears throat> that, wait, the fish says that? Yeah. That's so silly. Don't that's, you remember on Finding Nemo? So sneezy. When they're like introducing each other and the one's like, I'm obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. I'm H2. She's like yeah, she's got a short tentacle. Yeah. Really tentacle. That's so cute. You can't really kids tell. Are. Yeah, like they they repeat the things their parents <laughs> say, and their parents are probably like, "You're obnoxious." You're obnoxious. He's like, "I am obnoxious." obnoxious. <laughs> um, Cade, what's your hyperfixation? <clears throat> um, there. I don't know if it's really a hyperfixation. Okay, I've had it. Like, well, that's not what I asked for. Three days it? in a row. <laughs> Um. <laughs> okay, tell him you love him. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you had three days. Cut in the row cameras. Where you did, where you did what? No, there's um an energy drink called C4, and they have a pink Starburst flavor. Ooh, that's I actually love Starburst. It's actually quite good. That sounds yummy. And I'm very picky on energy drinks. Mm -hmm. I like some. Don't like some. Do you like monsters? Mm, usually no. Usually what about no. the juice ones that mm -hmm. mango? The peach mango ones. You do Hell like yeah. those ones? Heck yeah. I ought to try those. I think I would like them. I've never yeah. I don't really drink energy drinks very Anything much. Anything that's more um that's not as like a chemical tasting. Oh. The they smarties. taste like chemicals? They, or they like, like Red Bull a lot of the time. Uh, yeah, I don't like tastes like <laughs> Tastes like a, a the Red Bull like boy. toilet bowl cleaner or something. I don't oh. know. You have a lot of experience with that. Yeah, because <laughs> he's got such a potty mouth. This is where the the like shepherd's crook bear. would come out from the window and just like I pull am? you off. The <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's just it's just like Carly standing over there with the shepherd's crook and just like pulls Morgan off the camera. She would love that. I think we should give her that job. We'll hire her. Okay. You can be an intern, Carly. We can't pay you anything. Yeah. So. I certainly <laughs> I just forgot. I just forgot that this is something that happened. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and just like <laughs> goes around her neck and then it pulls but it does that cartoon thing where like her neck pulls and then her body and, and her head like, like, yeah. like, <laughs> and then there's just a cloud imprint of Morgan <laughs> Finally, that's how I want to go out <laughs> uh, so that's my <laughs> okay so your st strawberry yeah strawberry starburst, starburst energy drink well, I don't, is it strawberry is that what pink pink starburst Pink Starburst. The can has pink Starbursts on it. And then the it. red is cherry. And the red Ugh. sucks. But the yellow and orange are good. I have so many feelings about Any that. artificial cherry flavor is... I know that's how like you this. feel. But it's just how I feel. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you don't like Code Red. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like medicine. You and nothing you can say will ever change my mind. You are a bully. <laughs> pink Starburst or strawberry flavor. There you go. Thank you, Ponton. <laughs> what did you what say? What did you call him? <laughs> it's fine. We can just keep moving. <laughs> uh, Ponton. That's the name of on on the Pink Panther. Okay. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. It was familiar. That's what I was asking. Yeah. I was like, Ponton. I know. That. Is that his like friend that he's always trying to surprise attack? <laughs> yeah. He's, <laughs> he's like, like the other police officer. <laughs> yeah. Good one, Ponton. Ponton. <laughs> 
What a silly name. Tonton. <laughs> <laughs> What's your hyperfixation, Jackie? Um, well, I was I went to New York City. Yeah, you did. And you looked like you had a good time. It was a good old time. Um, you know, first of all, you know that um the Annie movie with Jamie Foxx? Yes, I love that one. Mm -hmm. And you know Is that the newest one? Yeah. Yeah. And they're up in the the helicopter and then you see that song he's like in new york city yeah that's what i sang the whole weekend oh, <laughs> so that's so ask, fun. i mean <laughs> maybe not for carly i'd right? be like welcome to new york like i'd just be saying stupid things but my hyper fixation would be kiss my slice pizza in new york city Ooh. We're what really what made it really different good. what put it ahead of all the other pizzas the price point oh it's cheap. Also, <laughs> Prince Street Pizza. Okay. Is really yummy. It has crispy pepperonis. Oh, I do. <laughs> Those love are my favorites. The pepperoni. little tiny. Flip up. You know. So good. So I good. if there's one thing I know in this world, it is pizza. Really. I love pizza. Do you, you Dave Portnoy? Mm -hmm. Does the pizza room? Do you Dave Portnoy? <laughs> I, I follow. Yeah, I do. You do. Too. I do too. I love his pizza reviews. Yeah. It makes me want pizza every time. Every time. There's like not super good pizza around here. Unless, do you have any recommendations? Uh, the one I actually tried that was pretty good recently was Mountain Mike's Pizza. Where is that? Uh, the one I know about is in Orem on State Street. Did you say Mountain Mike? Mount Mountain Mike. I'm asking because I didn't. Sorry, hear. yes, my Utah accent did say Mountain Mike. No, you can say Mountain. I just was trying to clarify. Gosh, dang, I can't say anything. All right, I'm a stinker. Mount Mountain Mike. Mountain Mike. Yeah. <laughs> What's so good about it? Uh, they put a lot of toppings on. Perfect. Which is great. What's your favorite pizza? Um, I've only had the Hawaiian pizza. I've only been there the one time. You like Hawaiian? Oh, heck yeah. Nice. Yeah. Morgan hates I'm sorry <laughs> to anyone who doesn't believe the truth. Oh, no. well, don't you? I do. You don't but... like, do you not like pineapple on pizza? No. Well, you're wrong, so. <laughs> I think, I think Hunter also likes pineapple on pizza. Well, Hunter can replace Morgan then. No. Diane, we still hope you listen. <laughs> She won't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Morgan, okay. Even though Morgan doesn't like pineapple on pizza, she can stay. Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you. We made an executive decision. <laughs> we held a vote. <laughs> it was unanimous. I want to be off the island. Hey. <laughs> what? Um, you remember when we used to go to the swimming pool and we're like, you know what? We need a, <laughs> a full Little Caesars pizza every Little Caesars. day. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Morgan would get pepperoni and then black olives. No. Pepperoni and black olives is Kid and Grove's favorite pizza. It's I would so get good. ham and it black olives and stuffed crust. Okay. Ham and black olives. Mm -hmm. My sister, Jessica, who is also an avid listener of this podcast. Love you, Jessica. She and her family put me onto that and that's my it's favorite combo. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever had a pizza with just ham and olives. Yeah, it's good. I don't know why it wouldn't be good. There's I, I something sometimes... about that with ranch that's like, mm, it's yeah. so Chef's yummy. kiss. And we would we would be swimming in the morning and we're like, you know, we need pizzas. So we just a pizza. Yeah, a whole pizza and like a, one of those like gallons of stuff. We were like, we earned it. No, we didn't. <laughs> we did nothing. We did absolutely nothing. But it was the best. <laughs> I was just talking to Taylor about that. She's like, remember when we did that multiple times a week? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're like, it it's only cheap, five though. dollars. Yeah, so by the say. time we got the pizza that we wanted, it was like 20 Yeah, because we're like, oh, because you were adding. Yeah. yeah. Because the stuffed crust is so good at. Um, I don't Little know if I've Caesars. ever had stuffed crust at, at Little Caesars. Caesars. What? I don't think I've ever had their stuffed crust. Well, it's time. I don't. It's my favorite. I somewhere. don't know that I have ever even like ordered an actual pizza from Little Caesars. I've had their hot and ready stuff. Oh, like you just get what 
but I've never, I don't think I've ever gone in and been like, can you make me this pizza, Little Caesar? I think, I think out. that's why we it's like really? Little Caesars because people are always like, it's not great pizza, but it is if you just order. The, I mean, the hot and ready ones are not, but they'll do in a pinch. They, they will. will. You know? They yeah. fill the old tummy. Like when you got Ooh, that no. pizza itch to scratch <laughs> and you're like, I need a pizza right this second. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to know that there's like a beacon of hope out there in the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little Caesars. <laughs> so favorite chain restaurant would be Domino's. I'm, I think I like Domino's. Uh, I think I would probably say Papa John's. Okay. The sauce is... Or Papa Murphy's. Papa Murphy's. Some of their pizzas. The Take and Bake. One time my mom got me a Valentine's pizza and oh, it was shaped cute. like a heart. That's well, adorable. she got it for my whole family, but the their <laughs> Chic- Jackie, she's my favorite. <laughs> she's like the rest of you can find whatever. <laughs> Eat some of those sweet tarts you got in your Valentine's box. <laughs> those chalky mints. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie and I will be having this heart shaped pizza. <laughs> she's my one Valentine. <laughs> No, it was for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just clear the record. <laughs> but yeah. what? Uh, what about you? What was your hyperfixation? Oh, um, I keep forgetting the name of this song. I'm pretty sure it was Jackie's hyperfixation. Um, is it called "Take Your Problems"? The disco. Oh, it's no. Taylor Swift. It's "I Can See You." Can see Taylor's you. version up from "Speak Looking Now." So all of me. So it's very good. I like it a lot. It's, it's a bop. It's a really good one. I've been finding some jams lately. Some so. jams. Mm-hmm. Delicious jams and jellies. <laughs> <laughs> Must so be fun. jelly because jam don't shake. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> what a spicy thing you just said. <laughs> you sounded like a Midwest mom. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna scooch past you here. <laughs> Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so my, my topic, if you guys haven't heard yet. Um, aliens, aliens are real. <laughs> aliens are confirmed. So I want to know if aliens came down and they were like, show us three things to convince us to keep the human race around. Show me what, what you got. What three things. <laughs> that's what they would say. Okay. What three things would you show them to convince them humans should be not terminated forever? No, I was quoting. I heard your question and I will get to it. I feel There's like it's going to be an episode wild, of Rick and Morty where <laughs> these giant space heads show up to Earth and they just keep saying, show me what you got. I want to see what you got. And they're just hosting a giant interplanetary um, American Idol, basically. Oh. So that's what that's from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll be watching that anytime soon. Yeah, thanks. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay. Um, um, I can only show them three things. Three things. It can be like a movie or a song or a video, or you can show them around a the food. world, like something, a food. It could be a food. It could be an animal, like something that they're like, okay, we will leave this planet be. Are the aliens nice? That all depends on what you show them. <laughs> no. Well, no, because if it's like, <laughs> if... If they're it's not nice, passion. then I would show them like nuclear weapons. No, no. And be like, threaten them. Here no, you no, go, no, boy. No, we're with run. This. No, no, no. We're not <laughs> threatening them. <laughs> These colors don't run. They- <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Put an American flag behind no! me. <laughs> Stop listening he knows to how. He knows how. I know he does. Okay. He does a great job. Trent is the best. Okay, listen. Sorry. No, the- they are. Not nice because they're like we are going to. This is like show us what your why your planet's unless, worth saving. Yeah, unless you show us why you're worth keeping huh. around. You're taking up a lot of gravitational pull right now, and that's just a bummer. It's not the that? first time I've heard that. <laughs> it won't be the last. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, 
Huh. I have mine. Okay, go ahead. Whoa, already all three? We're not going to talk about this? This is not going to be a democratic process? No. Okay, sorry. I'm just kidding. Fend for no. yourself. You go ahead because I got to think. So here in Utah, there's a place that Lance so lovingly called Rafiki's Blessing. Oh, <laughs> okay. And, and I couldn't agree more. So <laughs> it's like the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Like scenery wise, we went. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of us. Arm, arm, arm in arm. Arm in arm looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd show them that. I'm like, dude, this is pretty. You got to see this. You know? And they'd say, yes, we love the Lion King. <laughs> Show me what you got. <laughs> um, and then I think I would show them, like, maybe in and out You can have some in and out Okay. But in California, right? California, in and out um, Why are you playing that face? Hmm? You and then I'd show them Hairspray. <laughs> what is it called? Would you do a, a live version or the movie? The movie. The movie. Every time. You're like, okay, now this is Zach Efron. Watch him. Do not stop watching <laughs> him. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's a sing along it. version where Jaggy is just like up next to the TV yeah. dancing. Yeah. Like, because the heart keeps. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're like, this is also this is a two in one. It's karaoke and hairspray. You guys are now involved. Like, you can't stop the beat. <laughs> you're like. <laughs> I, fi I figured that's what aliens are like. Yeah, they probably like, would be a little flabbergasted yeah. by that. That's what I show them. Because <laughs> at least I died doing what I love. So <laughs> they don't agree. Rafiki's so. blessing point. Uh -huh. in and California out in and out. And, and hairspray. hairspray, the karaoke version. <laughs> well, I don't think so, because I I can't, I can't really dazzle them in the way I would want to. So, so I'm you just want gonna leave it to you. You couldn't want give them the out. old razzle dazzle. I, I could not give them the old razzle dazzle. So I'll let I'll let the let, you'll let Amanda Bynes do the the walking. Yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, <clears throat> I think I would give them a cultural experience. Okay. And I would take them to a uh, Taylor Swift Eras tour concert. Okay. That's just so you can go. <laughs> but, well. It's for science, Taylor. <laughs> I need some tickets. But you have both been there. Yeah. You it, you have been in the trenches. It's emotional, and it's for sure. an experience. Mm -hmm. You experience the highs and the lows of humanity. Whoa, yeah. And everyone's there and everyone's united. If that is true. It would be a good did, way to be like, look at all these people being nice to each other and and, it, and being respectful like and enjoying yeah, like, like people this like beautiful strangers art. are like talking to each other and dancing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. So and maybe not that, I guess. That's just like an example, but something similar to that. That's like a cultural thing like I, I there's a lot of stuff i wouldn't want to take them to like i wouldn't want to take them to a basketball game where yeah. everyone's like yelling obscenities at each other yeah. even though that's something i love about earth mm -hmm. <laughs> i love when people it's, yell it's not, well i just like i just love going to a basketball game because there's something when your team is like winning and like the arena is like yeah, electrified. Sports are but you can't guarantee that uh -huh. where like i can almost with 100 percent accuracy guarantee that any night of a taylor swift era's tour concert is rocking yeah she don't yeah. miss she you don't know? miss and so they would be doing the same thing as when jackie showed them hairspray and they would just be sitting like this yeah and you'd be like get up on and your I, feet and i'm like queen. this <laughs> is my tears ricochet and if you do not get up and cry and sing <laughs> you like grab their hands and and I could go anywhere I want. <laughs> Just not so. Yeah. <laughs> I would totally. Yeah. That's brilliant. Good. Um, good. And then I think the idea of giving them like a food mm -hmm. is pretty good. And so I've been trying to think about what that would be. And I honestly think that I would like take them to my house. And oh, yeah. Have, have Sunday dinner yeah. with my family. Oh, yeah. It's a vibe. Because then, then again, you're getting like, this is what Earth life is like. This is family. This is family. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is good food. Totally. Sorry if you don't like chicken, Italian chicken and rice, but that's what we're having. But I pile that in. <laughs> but, to the point uh, I throw up. Is that what you had? 
Yes. Have we talked? Have I told that story on here, or is <laughs> that just a story you, you know? I think you told you, me in the car. I don't know. <laughs> you told me in the car one yeah, time. Yeah, I've definitely heard uh, it as well. So I don't there know. is a meal that my mom makes that is so good, <laughs> and one time I did eat it so much Mosh that. <laughs> one time I did eat so much of it that I went downstairs in my bedroom and threw up on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> on the floor makes it so much funnier. Because <laughs> you're just like, I, I can't walk. No, because I was laying in my bed because I was like, I do not feel good. I ate too much. And then I could feel it coming. And so I like rolled out of bed because I was trying to go to the bathroom. <gasps> and then I just like oh, all over no. the floor. And mind you, you just wanted more. I was not young. Like, I was probably, like, 16. He's like, this was last year. <laughs> this was yesterday. <laughs> no, I was, I was like, definitely old enough that I knew better than to eat, like, five plates of you just chicken and rice. so much. It's so good. So funny. And you eat it like after, such a still. simple meal. Oh, yeah. It didn't ruin it for you. No. You're like, that was, that was a, a momentary setback. That was a, yeah. <laughs> a momentary setback. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because then, uh, you take them to Sunday dinner at Ma Shan's because yeah. then they're, they're like, it's like, this is family. This is what we do. If and Ma this Shan is good food. can't convince people to, to not blow up our planet, to be nice, who can? No one. Exactly. You know? Yeah, I agree. And then my third thing. Um... Take him to a drive-in movie theater, and we'll watch. I want to say Jurassic Park, but I don't. <laughs> They're like this happened. To you? <laughs> like, well, Whoa. but that would be kind of neat to be like sixty-five million years ago. This is what we were dealing with. Yeah, if we can survive this, we can certainly survive. We you. can survive your threats, but also isn't this great? Look at Laura Dern. <laughs> Laura Dern saves the planet again. <laughs> you see Laura Dern in Little Women. Mm -hmm. oh, I want to be just like her. She's such yeah. a mom. I don't know if I have it in me, but I would. She's like great. To be yeah, like her. So yes, that would be another thing to just be like a nice summer night. Me and the aliens kicking it in the back of a truck at the drive-in movie theater. Mm -hmm. And I feel like what the, the movie we see is probably like not super important, but it's just the vibe. Got it. Amazing. What do you say, Marjorie? Um, I was going to say that I would take them to a museum like the Louvre or something with like a ton of artwork um, and, and be them. like, this is like what we can create. This is what we do and stuff like that. And then um, I also said Sunday dinner. But I was going to say that we should invite them to Tori's house. Yeah. And have her make um, her tortellini, tortellini soup. soup. Yeah. Tori's Heaven's house soup. is also a vibe on Sunday. Yeah. Right? If we like invited them with all of our friends and it would just be, she's just like so nice and that soup is she, so good. Yeah. And it's just like such a vibe of like, this is all of us coming together. Yeah. And this is kind of like what you were saying. Like, this is what Same. life is like. Like, this, this is, is what, what being a human when is. When we connect. Yeah. yeah. Victorian and then, Ma Shan, same font. Yeah. A lot of times. Yeah. And then um, I was going to say that I think it would be cool to have them watch like, like not watch the birth of a human because that's kind of traumatizing, but just see like the direct <laughs> after like when they're you doing like the skin to skin. You want them to watch the miracle of birth or no. what was Miracle of life. A miracle no. of life. In health class, my, yeah. my friend Kenzie Sodia threw up all over the <laughs> Yeah. Did she just have? She just ate a bunch of chicken and rice right before. <laughs> yeah, so. that's what it was. <laughs> she was doing an alien day where she went to Ma Shan's and had chicken it's and an rice. An alien day. Yeah, and then she went. <laughs> that's actually baller. That's a cool thing to call it. You know when people are always like, "What's your perfect day or whatever?" <laughs> what would you what's do your to What's your alien day? And that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go to In and Out. Doesn't that sound like a great day? Sure. In and out, hairspray, and then going to see that view. Nothing could be better. I mean, I named three things that I think would be better, but it is your alien day. Okay. <laughs> it's my alien day. And say, this has to be your alien day. Okay, so your Ma Shan drive in movie. 
What was your other one? Uh, Taylor Swift Air Stores concert. Okay. So if okay. we could do that, I, like that's great. Totally. Yeah, I'd be there. And then you're going to have a baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys didn't listen. I, did listen. I was trying to say <laughs> before you brought up your friend throwing up at the movie. <laughs> it's like the not the not giving birth but the moment after when the mom has like skin to skin contact like, and like the right dad is there the and birth. it's like a brand new family is made and it's like such a special moment i would have them watch that and then i'd be like you can't get rid of this you, you know so no you hold me like i'm a baby gleep glorp <laughs> <laughs> my alien's name is bleep glorp <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have them pulling wide-eyed, like, non-expression Have you seen faces? an alien? <laughs> have you? I've seen so many pictures. Yeah, that's true. I watched Asteroid City, and that's actually exactly what the alien looked like in Asteroid City. Oh, okay. Well, then. Very, very big, <laughs> wide eyes. <laughs> They're not missing a thing. You're right. So, if Wes Anderson doesn't know what an alien looks like, then who does? Nobody does. That lady who testified at Congress today. Yeah. I'm spooked. It's crazy. It's crazy, too, that Congress is like, aliens are real. And all of us are like, nah. <laughs> like, I'm too worried about the economy <laughs> and getting a house. Like, I'm worried about our planet. I'm like, I can't worry about Like, that. they can worry about their planet. We're as too long busy. as they stay up there, that's fine. That's we really can't fine. have any more people trying to buy houses out from under <laughs> us. So they have to leave. All the aliens are moving from Mars to Utah Valley. <laughs> we're like, no. Stop. The Californians are already here. You have to find somewhere else to go. <laughs> that's, that's sweet, though. Oh, uh, uh, about the birth thing. Thank you. Sorry, we too. That is an, you. that is very nice. You, I apologize so that Jackie. Put you in my pocket. I apologize that Jackie interrupted with her rude throw up story. <laughs> yeah. I am also I am sorry. <laughs> Do you have any funny throw up stories from when you were a kid? Um, one time I threw up and I had no memory of it. So like, apparently it wiped your memory. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> it hit I, the reset button. The sheer force <laughs> just wiped your memory. No, no, no. Like I, <laughs> the, I woke no. up. Listen, and I'll tell you. I woke up and apparently had been ill during the night. So like I woke up and I was like, dang, something smells terrible in here. And I like rolled over and there was a bunch of throw up on the ground. So obviously I went to my mom and was like, I, I don't know up. what happened. <laughs> But there's a bunch of throw up in my room and she's like she's like what do you mean what happened and i was like i don't know i was like i think somebody came and was sick in my room and she's like look and this is clearly Someone your came throw in, up came, came in for motion was after eating rice came morgan just got up. like barf all down her shirt she's like i don't know who it was well that's the thing i, didn't I, to get to it. I threw up i threw up but like, it wasn't me spotless like there was nothing on me there was only like throw up on the ground. So apparently I just like rolled over and was like, Bleh! and then like went back to sleep. I have no memory of it. But I was, I was like, I argued with my mom all day because I wasn't sick after that. I just threw up the once and then was fine. So all day I was like, mom, I did not throw up. And she's like, who would have done that? You're two teenage sisters. Jessica. You're like, Maybe you. Danielle. Yeah. Fess up in the comments. Yeah. Which one of you was it? Or did you do it together? <laughs> they yeah. both threw up. Jessica and Danielle both came into your room and threw up yeah. separately. Yeah. But I was like, I was like, it wasn't me. And she's like, Morgan, I, you can't have this conversation with you. Except anymore. you do always feel better after you threw up. Yeah. So. That's true. I have a lot of throw up stories. We don't need to get into that right now. I want to get into just one more. So <laughs> my brother. <laughs> You know those orange circus peanuts that are like marshmallows? Oh, I love wow. those. They're so good. I you love, love them. They're so good. Circus peanuts. They're so good. Eric thought so too, so he was like, bah, bah. Just, <laughs> just eating so many. And then we were like sitting in his room, like just playing, and he's like, I oh, yeah, feel so good. And he's like, <laughs> it was probably like orange styrofoam coming out of his it mouth. Was, and he just <laughs> threw up right by his bookshelf. <laughs> Behind was it just like ele- was it just like electric oh, orange? It. It, was, it was neon orange, and I was like, hey, "Little buddy, you hadn't eaten anything else." Like it was just the marshmallows. Aww. 
but he was like These relatable are so good. and he's just like <laughs> eating them they are so good they though. are really good oh. and then, so then i was like you gotta tell mom my mom comes and she's like what the hell like is it's neon orange she's like i don't know how i'm gonna get that up sorry you're saying she's like what's wrong with you <laughs> he's like it's just neon orange anyway <laughs> that's all I just that's thought awesome. of that too. well one of the kids at work was like I love the orange circus peanuts and it like brought up a memory for me today and then that's funny we're talking about uh, so let, uh, let's take a break do you want to go next yeah. you want me to so I went and saw Barbie on Friday with my sisters it was really good um, and I saw a video from a girl that was talking about her experience at it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little experience, uh, a little experiment, and I think it's gonna both make both of you very uncomfortable. Oh, and it's gonna, make, it's gonna make me very uncomfortable too. Wait, there's no spoilers, right? Because we, <coughs> we haven't seen, seen it, it yet. No. Okay. I we were seeing it with you. We, I'm, I'm good to go see it again. Okay, great. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because we're going, yeah. Um, <laughs> Cause we are. <laughs> the, what the girl was talking about was she was like, I went and saw this movie and there's a scene at the very beginning where all of these Barbies are getting different um, Nobel prizes. So it's like the Nobel prize for whatever it goes to Barbie, like all this stuff. And she's like, I noticed that every single one of those Barbies stood up and didn't say thank you. They stood up and they said, thank you. Or they, they stood up and they said, I worked really hard. I deserve this. Okay. And she's like, that was really empowering to me <laughs> because too many times when people compliment us on things, we say thank you. Oh, gosh. oh I So we're going to give each other compliments. Oh, no. I, I'm oh. going to cry. <laughs> okay. And I don't, I don't want you to say thank you. What do I say? To any I compliment. <laughs> Jackie, I like, <laughs> you got a nice personality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just don't need to say anything. Or, or you can just say... I do, and just accept that part of yourself that other people have noticed. Oh, I'm so uncomfy <laughs> already. We haven't Is even everyone started. okay? I'm sweating a lot. You're, are you uncomfy too? Oh, sure. Okay, great. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I'll go first. Like therapy. I know, I don't like it. <laughs> Morgan. Uh, yeah. The thing I appreciate, appreciate about you mm -hmm. is you are one of the most considerate people I have ever met in terms of other people's feelings. Uh, something that I can always count on you for is caring about what the people closest to you are feeling and thinking in any situation. You can't get teary at me. <laughs> That's so true about her. I can't help it. Um, and I, that's an example to me of something that I would like to be better at. I feel like I, I'm not always right there for people when they need me. And so I appreciate that about you. And I will work harder to do that. And you also have a very infectious laugh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no, not that one. It's your like deep belly laugh. Like, if you're not laughing after that laugh, what are you doing? So those are some things that I admire and appreciate about you. Jackie. Uh-oh. <laughs> you have beautiful hair, Thank for you. one. I know that you said a lot of mean things about your hair earlier, but it is always gorgeous. Thank you. And the curl gives it. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I, I grew it myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it always looks good. I know that you said you felt like it didn't look good the last couple of times. But I think the the natural curl and everything, it never doesn't look good. Even when you're just like flopping it around or whatever. <laughs> when you were like lifting it off the couch and you were like, my hair looks so bad. It looks great all the time. The other thing that, <clears throat> that I very much admire about you is that you are very smart uh, as far as people go. I, I feel like you have the ability to like look at a person and judge sounds bad, but like you have the ability to discern what is good about them. And that's such an admirable quality 
that that you're quick to judge, but in a good way. You're quick to find the good things in people and highlight those. And that is also something that I would like to be better at is to find the good things in people and and put a spotlight on those rather than look for the bad or try to figure out why I wouldn't like a person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to make you. you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they're not bummers. <laughs> not even one bummer was in no. there. And Trent. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was <laughs> I know you don't like your bald head, but I think it looks very nice. <laughs> That's a freebie. I'll give you that one for free. Uh, the other thing I admire about you is that you're willing to do like a full send support on anything like when i came to you and was talking to you about a podcast you're like yeah let's do it or like literally any other idea i've brought to you you are never anything but supportive which is a super good quality to have in a friend is to have someone that can always will always have your back and will support you and will offer ideas and maybe even if the idea is not fully baked or <laughs> is just a ramble like we'll offer support and ideas to make that come true. We'll call it reckless support. <laughs> no, but it's not reckless though, because you also have a way of like guiding and saying, well, this might work better or like, let's try moving the lights like this or <laughs> something like that. So I appreciate all three of you very much. And you're great Barbies, and I would give you all Nobel Prizes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Who's, who's going next? I can go. Okay. Morgan? No. <laughs> <laughs> she can't. You're my favorite person. And... Why am I crying? I because this is this is literally like therapy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the most considerate person I've ever met. The things that I am like, well, sucks to suck. You're very much thoughtful in those times. So I think, I mean, I know that I love being your friend because where where I fall short, you're always nice, and so it's it's a good old time because. I just think that you're really considerate and on countless occasions you've been um, exactly what like what I've needed, but also what other people have needed too. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kate, <laughs> you, I love you so much. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm crying. Don't be sorry. That's just um, as bad as saying thank you after any of this. That's true. Um, you, I feel like we're very similar in a lot of ways in like our personalities and stuff and like how we feel about things, whatever. But my favorite thing about you is how fun you are. Um, you always bring a fun energy even if you're not doing the best or if like you're tired or whatever like you're always down to like be uplifting and kind to other people and I just I love having Kate energy in my life and I'm lucky to do this every week <laughs> because I just love you and I love Kate energy sorry I'm crying <laughs> <laughs> don't be sorry Trent. You're doing wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Trent, I also love you. And the word, when I think of you, the word that I think of is loyal. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but just, just looking at you. <laughs> like, I should have said it from in there. <laughs> Jackie's just going to close her eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're very loyal and you show up for people. And that's like your best quality and the thing that I love the most about you. I think you're very kind hearted and 
I know you don't like being called sweet, but you're so sweet and kind. And I love that about you. But on top of that, you show up for people no matter what. And that's really amazing. And it's, I feel lucky to have you as a friend as well, because it's nice to have people show up. You know what I mean? So big fan. <laughs> All right. You did wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> I'll go next. And Trent, I'll start with you. Um, I think kind of going along what they were saying, like I think that you're very dependable. And I also think that you have the talent to see people and find something that you like in everybody, which is not easy to do. And I think of you as being very wise. Like when we have conversations, you're very open about your experiences and you're very willing to like talk about things that maybe other people would be more likely to shy away from. And that is such an amazing quality because people don't like talking about uncomfortable things, but you always make it very like open and accessible to discuss that kind of thing with you. And that's, that's hard to find because everybody wants to just have a good time and they don't necessarily want to like talk about things that are a little bit heavy, but you make both possible. So that's amazing. And like they said, I'm very grateful to have you as a friend because you're so fun to talk to and you're such a good person. And Cade, I equate you to, <clears throat> I don't remember what it's called, but remember in the original Willy Wonka when they drink? <laughs> <laughs> Those short guys that yeah. they dance. No, 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 listen. Very tan. The thing that they drink that makes them fly up. <clears throat> The fizzy lifting drink, that's you as a person. Like, I know that if you're invited to like a party or at any kind of like social interaction that you are gonna be fun and kind of what Jackie said, like uplifting and just good to be around. You, you give out compliments like so easily, but also incredibly sincerely where it's if I get a compliment from you, I never am like, that was a throwaway compliment. You're never like, oh, you look pretty today. Like you'll say like, you look pretty today. I like the way that you did your hair. And it's just like, I know from that that you cared enough to say it. And then you cared enough to make me believe that you said it. And, and that means a lot. Cause like, I mean, girls get a lot of throwaway compliments or compliments that don't mean anything. But I know that if you're saying something to me that you genuinely mean it. And I do think that you're a genuine person and you make it fun to be around you. <laughs> I'm just smiling. I know, I know. Um, and I, I do appreciate that this was your whole idea to start a podcast because it's never something that I would have done on my own and it's never something that I thought I would even be asked to be a part of. So I'm just very grateful for you and your friendship. I know I joked earlier about replacing you, but I really <laughs> didn't mean it. <laughs> if you were going to replace me with somebody, I'd hope it would be. <laughs> then I would watch. All right. <clears throat> Jackie, mm -hmm. my darling friend. Um, I think a lot of girls with their friendships with other girls will say like, oh, you're like a sister to me. But like, I genuinely mean like our friendship goes beyond just being friends and you are my soul sister and I'm so lucky to have found you. And um, one of the things that is really inspiring about you as a person is that you're like the sun where like you have such an amazing talent of just like looking at people and then being like, you're going to be my friend. You've like handpicked so many of our friends and been like, I'm going to be friends with that person. And you bring them in with just this amazing personality of yours. It's like a gravitational pull and people just adore you. And just like the sun, you, you warm up everybody. You are just like such a nice fun person to be around and and everyone who meets you is lucky because not everybody has a friend like that and you're also just very beautiful and i've always thought so being your friend that you are just like a naturally gorgeous person and i love you <laughs> 
Should we give Trent a turn? <laughs> You're my, you guys are both so great. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> I apologize for the energy, but I also hope that you guys realize how amazing you are. <laughs> you too, Cade. I do. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds weird to say, but that's what we're doing here. <laughs> Jackie. I remember the first day I met you. Caden Groves walked me up to you and said, this is Jackie. She is the best person on the planet. Um, I think that you are very good at creating a safe place for absolutely anybody. I hear it in your stories about work. I see it in my own experiences. And I'm very glad that you have that ability to create places where people can be safe as themselves. Morgan, um, actually both of you, I think have an amazing talent for helping others find the beauty in themselves and bringing it out. Um, one specific way that I think both of you do that is through like, like you both kill it with your makeup. And I know one of Cade's favorite activities he's ever done with you guys is learning how to do makeup. Don't talk to me about makeup. <laughs> 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 so double whammy, both of you. Morgan, your laugh was seen by 50,000 people. That's crazy. Across the internet. Like, and they loved it. They loved it. <laughs> so many of them loved it. And like, if you think about 50,000 people, that's like bigger than most. That's like more people than show up to a Taylor Swift concert. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a lot of people. You laughed for one Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> <laughs> and they loved it. And they loved it. They said more, more, more. <laughs> Actually, though. Um, so, yeah, just an amazingly contagious laugh. Um, and then number two, you're very cool under pressure. Like when you need to step up, I've seen you show that ability to step up in a high pressure situation where like, if I had to call the non-emergency line, I would stutter and fumble and be very unclear about what I needed to say and wouldn't respond to their questions very clearly. When I've seen you do that, unfortunately, um, just peak professionalism. It's as though like- It's if, your job. If people were paid <laughs> to do that, Morgan would Professional be- Professional 911 caller. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 100%. Thank you. I'm not supposed to say that. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Go stand in the corner for five minutes. <laughs> I cheated earlier. I said Mahalo. Which... Oh. <laughs> anyway. Um, Unbelievable. Cade, Cade um, for me recently, like number one, he saved me from, like when I first met Cade, he saved me from a bad living situation. It just like, like, rodeo lassoed me around the neck and said nope you're not going to be there you're going to be over here with me so number one huge i owe kid a huge debt for that and then number two i owe kid never got my rope back <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm just so uncomfortable right I know. now I just accept it. That was that was akin to saying thank you, you equal punishment <clears throat> for you. Um, number two, Cade has been a massive piece enabling me to chase my biggest dream. And it's like, I could not do what I want to do without Cade. Like number one, um, him recruiting me to live at his house to make it easier to do the podcast which has opened a lot of doors for me professionally. And then number two, just, I mean, like him putting a roof over my head so that I could, so that I could have a job where I wouldn't have been able to afford living on my own and just giving me that little bit of financial freedom and help to chase my dream and do what I want to do. Um, so yeah, that's, I don't know how that's a compliment, but it's, it's more of a thank you. <laughs> Which you're not supposed to do. 
<laughs> there was one rule. <laughs> the end. Uh, you're all great. I think that was a good thing for us to do. Yeah. And this is an invitation to everyone out there. Go find the important people in your life and give them some compliments. Tell them what you like about them. You think they're important? <laughs> Thank you. I know it. <laughs> let's let's take a break and do a group hug. <laughs> a group cry. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, <laughs> I am very sorry for the energy I've created in the studio. Um, so Do we need to take a longer to break? No, I'm fine. Do you so, need a prayed soul? No, I'm good. Is this one not on? That would be funny. It's just me and I'm like... It's on. I just zoomed out when I jumped in. Oh, I see. Zooming back in so we can see your faces better. Um, so I went and saw some Broadway shows. I my dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. Jesse. My question is a two part question. Okay. First question is what is your favorite musical? Because I think we all have an affinity for the arts. Oh, okay. Second question is who would sing your so so a, a show that i saw this week was moulin rouge it's a jukebox musical where they take modern songs put it into a story mm -hmm. what singer would you have sing the majority of your songs like which singer would i if it was a story of my life which singer would i want like to be which, like the soundtrack yes <clears throat> what like what singer um that's a good question give like would would be like my vibe. life yeah because gotcha. like i know you we love Ter taylor swift but does her, what she sing about no. really capture your life and your vibe I don't maybe so. some but maybe not all hmm. so you want me to go first? Sure. Oh, you just were like, if you're ready, you go. Cause I'm still thinking. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> so my favorite musical is Little Shop of Horrors. Cute. Why? Why um, that one? I think the, so the music is really fun. Um, it's a weird story about alien plants. But it's so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. um, and insert a picture of Cade dressed as Seymour Krelborn with his little dog. <laughs> feed me feed me um but yeah so that's my favorite and i got to see it last week and it was amazing so fun. and so cute and funny um someone to sit seeing the soundtrack of my life would probably be 21 pilots because i feel like because all your friends are demons Every last one, they're heathens. Oh, heathens. <laughs> All my friends are You just added yourself, buddy. <laughs> Fake fan. <laughs> but I feel like their their lyrics, I relate to oh. almost all of their songs. Mm -hmm. They're probably the, the musical person, people, there's two of them, that <laughs> I relate to most of their songs. Like, do I love Taylor Swift? Yes. Yeah. Do I relate to some of her songs? Yes. Ta Taylor's a hard one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think 21 Pilots would be mine. That's a really good one. Nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know what my favorite musical is. It's probably Heather's. That is such a good I one. I love Heather's the musical. Have you, have you seen Heather's the movie? Mm -mm. Have yeah, you seen Heather's the sometime. musical? Mm -mm. We're gonna watch I, it. I feel like we have to be delicate in the way, in the order in which we show them to you, and I don't know which mm -hmm. we should do first. The movie so, first. Yeah, research. Let me know. Probably the movie. first. I would first. say the movie first because the the musical, musical is so good. Is like very camp. We were supposed to watch it and then get some at pizza, but we never did that. Yeah. No, because there was literally a week <laughs> yeah. where I watched it. I think like four or five times. Yeah, it was one of your hyperfixations. Yeah. 
because I was like, literally anytime I was doing anything, I was like, well, I'm just going to turn on Heather's the musical. <clears throat> so it's, watch it up. it's on Roku TV. Okay. So it's free with ads. <laughs> um, I really like that one. I'm going to see Beetlejuice when the Broadway tour comes Fun. in like yeah, two weeks. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice so I'm pretty excited so for that one. I like the music and yeah. I like the movie. So I'm sure I'll like the musical. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> um, like classic Broadway though. Cause those are, I mean, Heather's is not super recent, but it's like more of a contemporary, it like newer, newer. Um, I, I really liked, uh, I mean, Phantom of the Opera is good. Just a fun time, you know, mm -hmm. nothing cooler sure. than like a kidnapping and like some forced, Weird Stockholm syndrome love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. You've never seen Phantom of the Opera? <laughs> No. So you said that to her with no context. And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like kidnapping and forced love. Yeah. Yeah. We love Super it. cool. For sure. <laughs> yeah. The Phantom, kind of a feminist. Okay. I'll say it. <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> Morgan's squinting her eyes like she's not so sure. I'm sure I agree with Morgan more. <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. I'd never seen it. He, he really was like Christine number one. The best. Okay, liking one woman over <laughs> anyone else does not make you. I guess feminist. he put Carlotta down. Yeah. To get he Christine, hates but to be fair, Carlotta. So right, Carlotta sucks. Yeah. Should, oh, Putting yeah. one woman over anyone else. Yeah, that does not make. Yeah, I've met a tons feminist. of guys. That's like, true. I guess. Women. I guess he didn't write a letter that was like, "Yeah, women's rights." It was more just like, I'm really obsessed with it's Christine. Like, I want Christine to be in charge. And they were like, why? And he's like, I won't say. I won't say, but if you don't, I'm going to hold your whole theater hostage. I'm going to kill someone about it. I can't wait to watch this with you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we just did explain a film plot badly. Yeah. Kind of so what you need to know, Phantom kidnaps a girl. And then he's like, I'm going to do some murders about it unless. Well, first, no, no, no. First, he <laughs> pretends to be her dead father. Oh, that's we true. We shan't be forgetting. There is, there is some light gaslighting. Yeah. He's like, no, I didn't. And she's like, <laughs> yeah, you didn't. He's like, actually, <laughs> play back the tapes. <laughs> Don't back. tell her anymore, though, because I want to watch it with her someday. <laughs> I can't believe you've never seen it. Mm -mm. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> what does that mean about me? I don't know. Just that you haven't seen the Phantom of the Opera. Right. Or um, the other one, the other one that is really good like is the, um, the Broadway version of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So good. I've seen it a couple different times in a couple different places and they kill it every time. Awesome. Love it. What was the second question? Who would sing your... Songs. Who would I play in the Phantom of the Opera? <laughs> Who would sing your songs? <laughs> in a uh, Fox musical about your life. Maybe, maybe like Harry Styles. Yeah. You're only saying that because Jackie says you look like him all the time. <laughs> she does, which I don't, I don't understand. You're not going to tell me I'm wrong. Tell us in the comments if you agree. <laughs> okay, listen. You've never seen either of us in the same room together, so... <laughs> Look at his dimples. <laughs> Those are Harry Styles dimples when your hair was like a little bit longer. That's true. With the longer hair, I could see it more. Mm. The way you look right now looks just like him today. <laughs> I don't watch enough of his content to know. I do. <laughs> oh, enough yeah. of his content? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen his four Instagram posts. <laughs> I, I, don't I have six, like. thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, like Harry's got a, a good balance of like happy poppy. He's got some rock. He's got some Stars. somber, just kind of like everything. Yeah. Which is how I feel all the time. Nice. A whirling dervish of emotion. Whirling. <laughs> <laughs> a whirling dervish. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what about you, Marguerite? Oh, uh, I uh, <laughs> sister Margareta. <laughs> I I love a lot of musicals, but I think my tried and true is also Phantom of the Opera. And I say that because it was the first like musical that I watched. Like I grew up listening to musicals, but I think that was the first one that I like I I saw it as a movie first, but I went to the theaters and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be that. And it, she's actually the reason that I learned how to sing because I wanted to sing just like Because you wanted to be the chandelier. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to say Phantom of the Opera, but I, I like a ton of musicals as well. I like... Heathers and Ride the Cyclone. And oh yeah, Hamilton. That <laughs> really weird music. I forgot about, about Ride the Cyclone. Is that on Broadway? Now? That I listened to one I time and know. I was like, I don't. Think yeah, so. Morgan. I. It's weird. Really good. It's weird, and I'm fully she aware. Story. Though, yeah. yeah, it's very strange. It's the one I about like the carnival ride that kills like 16 oh, yeah. children. Jane Doe, something. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> She's one of the dead children. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, Decapitated? yeah, her kappa sure. was detated from her body. Yeah, <laughs> which something like really interesting I just learned about the stage production. I'm gonna ignore the fact that you're laughing right now. Is that um, she when you first see Jane Doe? I guess it just looks like she doesn't have a head and she's holding a doll. And then the next time you see her, her head looks like a doll. Like she replaced her head with the doll's head. Yeah. What? Yeah, isn't that weird? I want to see it just so I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's how what I feel. You, what do you mean? I know. You know when the Jennifer Lawrence <laughs> she's like, like when she's on mean? hot ones? What do you what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you what do you mean? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so good. Um, and then the singer for my jukebox musical. What? what? He just, there was a red one and he just threw it to the side. <laughs> You're so mean about cherry stuff. I literally moved a lifesaver gummy out of the way. And from what it sounds like, you didn't move it. You flicked it to the side like trash. It wasn't, it wasn't just like this. It was like... <laughs> Let me get done. I got stuck. I'm under attack in I'm my own I'm getting offended. This is my... <laughs> <laughs> in oh my, my own friend's name. home. What's you remember Ryan? He's like, <laughs> He's like, I hate it! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll, friend... talk, I'll tell you about it later. Yeah. <laughs> what was I saying? Jane Doe. She oh. held her head. No, he's right. She's a doll. I don't know. My singer for my jukebox musical oh, right. would be... Uh, I want to say Adele. <gasps> You're smart. That's a good choice. I'm, yeah. I'm going to say Adele because. Although, not a lot of happy songs. So I hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I hope that your life is not just like sad. I would say. I would say like her songs aren't necessarily happy, but they're also just like super in depth emotionally. And I yeah. feel like. There's a lot of hope in her songs too. Yes, like a lot of like, okay, that was weird. I'm going to just like move forward from that anyway. <laughs> well, that was weird. And I feel <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Morgan in <laughs> no. the musical. No, that's okay. Well, that was weird. <laughs> no. Never mind, I'll fight. No, listen, what I'm trying, to say, <laughs> I'm trying to say is that like, I think I think if we were going to do a show about my life, like on the outside to a lot of people, I'm like just very fun and like I'm just ready to have a good time. But I'm like very, very emotional on the inside. So I'd want her songs to be like, like the talking part. I'd be like, yeah, no worries. And then on the inside, I'd be like, whoa, you know? <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> you, you know Adele's hits. Yeah. So I am worried. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give her any ideas. <laughs> She's like, TM, 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 TM. I'm worried. I'm worried. <laughs> anyway, that would be Yeah, choice. Adele's a good choice for you. I like her a lot. Yeah. I like her. I like her. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. What a good topic. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. We're listening. Or crying with us. <laughs> We're thankful. Um, you can find us on 
Instagram at No Bummers. You can find us on TikTok at No Bummers. You can find Kate at Kate.Larson. You can find Morgan at Mo Jarman. Mm-hmm. You can find Trent at at <laughs> Trent W Photo. <laughs> First try. Wow. First try. Yeah. <laughs> He said it so aggressively. I was like, right? I was like, it's, it's either his first name fully or his last name fully and then the other one. You know? Yeah. You can find me at Miss Jackie Charlotte. Oh You're going to forget your own Instagram. I don't know. I'm elusive. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to our podcast. <laughs> On Spotify, please. I'm sorry. If you guys want to listen to our podcast, you can find us on Spotify or Apple Music. If you want to watch the video and watch me cry my eyes out and watch Morgan giggle and then watch Kate smile, you can, you can watch it on YouTube. Our three that, talents. <laughs> really, though. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Bye. Catch you on the flippity flip. He said, he said, listen to <laughs> listen to our podcast. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am a surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> I am a surgeon. <laughs> that was that was the vibe you were given a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>